Following up now on a story you saw here first last night about a new Selena mural in the city's Molina neighborhood, the place where Selena grew up. And tonight, uh, Rudy Trevino adds to the story. On Tuesday morning, residents near Bloomington and Elvira streets woke up to this. The sound, a long time in coming. Word spread quickly and Molina residents started showing up to get a first look at the brand new Selena mural. I'm so happy and I want to cry. It looks it's nice. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. So beautiful. I like it. She's always going to be in, in our memories and our hearts. We always love her. The response, as expected, overwhelmingly positive. This is what we needed to bring her back to life. They've been coming people from out of town, from Houston, Dallas, Austin, and all over the world to come see this. The original mural, designed and painted a year after Selena's passing by local artist Dickie Valdez. Danny Noyola, who was Selena's seventh grade gym teacher, says that humble mural has given way to this new one and will forever be preserved. There's a true love between this community, Molina, El Barrio de Molina, and, and Selena Quintanilla. It's, it's remarkable. Now, the mural is one addition to this wonderful display in tribute to Selena. Take a look at this planter here. Next time you see it, it's going to be transformed. Anything for Selena. The mural has brought out a sense of unity and pride. Mario Gomez fixed up the original planter back when. I had planted some, some flowers and I had spray painted this gold, and so I'm going to redo it again. I'm going to paint this gold and uh, fill it up with flowers and make it look real nice. Nice not only for the residents of Molina, but for the thousands of fans who visit the city each year and want to see Selena's neighborhood. A milestone celebrated and summed up in the mural's quote. The goal isn't to live forever, but to create something that will. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.